festival and safe St. Patrick's Day. Sean Mooney, News 4, Tucson. You know, it seems not a day goes by that we don't hear about the opioid crisis and what's being done to try to stop it. But for one Tucson business owner, that issue landed right on his doorstep. So he contacted the News 4 Tucson investigators for help. From the day they opened, it was like someone flipped a switch. Steve Youngquist is talking about this clinic operated by Kodak Health Recovery and Wellness. The clinic, which provides medication-assisted addiction treatment, opened last November. And Youngquist tells the News 4 Tucson investigators that's when his trouble began. I've picked up more garbage in the front of my lot and have dealt with people being upset that I wanted to ask them not to hang around in the middle of the driveway and that type of thing more so in a few months than, than 20 years combined. Youngquist tells the News 4 Tucson investigators he understands that Kodak is trying to help people who need it, but he's beginning to lose patience. My customers are intimidated and have expressed that when they came in. All the extra traffic and garbage and just what it's bringing to the neighborhood is not healthy or positive at all. Whenever we uh, develop services in any part of our community, our goal is always to be a great neighbor. Dennis Reaney, Kodak's president and CEO, tells the News 4 Tucson investigators this new location provides much more than just methadone treatment. It's also a place for patients to receive other services, from employment counseling, behavioral health, even primary care around the clock. When we find an individual who is ready to come into treatment, um, they are just perhaps tired of their situation, um, and it's really important that we have treatment on demand. Andy says Kodak has done their part by having off-duty TPD officers on site during part of the day, plus private security and dozens of security cameras, all to make sure the clinic is safe for clients, employees, and neighbors. We believe that bringing our services at the right location at the right time is an important community value. And Rainey adds, the services Kodak provides are essential now more than ever. No state, no county, no town is, is uh, safe from the opioid crisis. The News 4 Tucson investigators also reached out to Ward 3 City Council member Paul Durham. In an email statement, he told us his office will have an open door to anyone impacted by the clinic and will hold Kodak to the highest possible standards of safety for nearby residents and business owners. If you have something you'd like the News 4 Tucson investigators to take a look at, you can email us at investigators at kvoa.com or you can call the News 4 Tucson investigators tip line. The phone number is 955-4444.